kid here. Uh, I decided to go ahead and come out in the country, bring my boy and my dog out here, let them run around a little bit. Been a while since we let the dog just run out in the fields. So. Came out here today, I brought my, my EDC bag. Uh, well, it's kind of my EDC bag, but uh, more or less it's a day pack. Uh, so if I go somewhere on a trip just for during the day, I'll uh, I'll take this with me. It's got just a little bit extra stuff that my ADC pack has in it uh, in case I have to stay the night somewhere maybe. So we'll start on the outside here. On the bottom, I've got my uh, rip away EMT pouch. This is a Condor rip away EMT pouch. I've got a video on this that I'm gonna upload and I will link to that video. I'll upload it first, I'll link to that with all of everything that's inside here. Uh, let's see here, if I get that stand up there. On the uh, right side here, I've got a cell phone pouch with my phone for work. This is a uh, Hazard 4 uh, sling pack. I can't remember the exact name, but I'll put a link to where I got it from Amazon on here in the description below. In the drink pouch, the bottle pouch on the side here, it's got a zipper so you can tighten it up or loosen it for a bigger bottle. I keep a Sub Zero rubberized stainless steel uh, small bottle. I think this is a 17 ounce, I believe. But I keep that empty, I don't put water in that, and uh, we got water fountains where I work, so if I need water, I can just put water in there if I forgot my drink for the day. Moving on to the other side here, I've got a fixed blade knife. This is the Gerber, which one is this? I can't remember which model this is off the top of my head right now, but I'm I'm doing a review on that this weekend or this coming weekend. I'm going out on a uh, camping trip with a, a buddy of mine. I'm going to do a review on this and upload it next week. And uh, that, I keep that on here. It's a fixed blade, full tang, all that good stuff. Put that back in there. Is he fetching the rocks, boy? Yeah. And <laughs> all right. Uh, there's a field here of Velcro that I've got a couple patches, just the American flag, SOG patch, that kind of stuff. Inside this front pouch here, I don't have anything right now. I used to keep uh, poncho, usually keep ponchos in there, the little cheap $1 Walmart ponchos. In this front pouch, I keep a solar panel that I got off. Amazon, and I'll, I'll put uh, links in the description block, uh, description box below to all this stuff. Uh, this does not have a battery on it, so you have to plug this directly into an external battery or into your cell phone to charge it actively. I've used this, it's a seven watt, I believe, and it actually does work pretty good if you got it in direct sunlight. Just a cheap paper mate pen. Again, just a cheap little notepad that I keep in there. I, I love having things to write on. I don't always like putting stuff in my phone. I've got just a little, one of those bank bags, a little mini bank bag with some change in it. Uh, I hate carrying change in my pocket, so I carry this. I can throw all my change in there during the day. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I've got uh, Purell hand sanitizer wipes in there back pouch here I don't have anything but I have a money roll uh, coin roll pouch here with um, quarters in it that's all I put in there is quarters so I know if I need three quarters I've got them right here I like to play pool a lot when me and my buddies go out so and nothing in there I guess that's all I have in this pouch right now in this front part the uh, it's kind of an admin panel I guess in this front part here down here where I can work with it. This video may be a little longer than my normal videos. Hello. Hey boy, what are you doing? Here's my boy, my oldest boy. Say hi Jax. Hey, I'm just gonna throw rocks with Bo and then he's gonna go catch them. You're throwing rocks with Bo and he's going to get them? Yeah. Alright, we'll go so on and throw more rocks for Bo. Bye bye. <laughs> 
Here, Bo. Oh. Oh. See you on video. There's a the dog. I'll see you on Bo video. Or... All right, Jax, that's enough. This is Bo, the Catahoula. He's a Catahoula lab mix, I think. We rescued him from a shelter uh, in Kansas City, Missouri. He's our buddy. All right, Bo, go on. <laughs> Jax, that's enough. Come on, go play with Bo. Even he's my dog. Yeah, he's our dog. Go ahead. Go on, Bo. Hey, Bo, ready? Sorry about that. Go, go. <laughs> then my boy's right there, though. Go. All right, on the inside of here, let's see, I'm going to have to move this stuff here. I've got two cameras running, so we got one for a, hopefully a close-up if the battery hasn't died on it yet. And it may have died already, so I'm going to try to do this for both cameras. Uh, inside, I keep my micro I call this a micro it's not really a micro if you want to be technical about it but this is my what I consider a micro toolkit uh, and I'm going to link a video to this to what all I've got inside here so I'll put that video in the description I'm not going through that right now this video will be an hour long uh, micro toolkit and I, I carry this with me and like I said before this is a day pack and if I ever go somewhere, me and my dad will go on trips to go look at a motorcycle or a Jeep or something. And you, you just never know if your car might break down or you might be stuck somewhere for the night. So I keep this little small uh, hygiene kit in here. I've got Kleenex in here, a toothbrush, the little small grooming scissors. Uh, a comb, some cologne, nail file, and nail clippers is all I keep in here. Uh, I don't even keep toothpaste in here because half the time this thing's sitting in my truck and in, in the summertime it gets real hot. Sorry about that. We had some uh, folks driving down the gravel road. A couple folks uh, taking their dog out too, I guess. So <clears throat> Let's see here. Get this back down here. Anyway, uh, my hygiene kit. We just went over that. I'm gonna have to edit this video some probably. But I take that with me every day. Sorry. <coughs> Whenever I take this pack with me, I've got this in here. If I ever get stuck somewhere, have to spend the night, or uh, just decide to spend the night somewhere, I've got this with me. It's at least a little bit. I can at least brush my teeth, clip my fingernails, clean up after the day. I keep a small mead notebook in here like i said before i like having uh i like having uh, something to write on this one is actually one i used for my second job <coughs> so that's just for this here is just for my second job i won't put anything else in here unless it's for work that way i can keep it all separated and this looks like it leaked out a little bit but it's all right this is uh, i actually got this from dollar tree it's heavy duty shop wipes and they are um, unscented, but they have got their wet wipes basically. And they work awesome. Uh, I use them all the time. Huh? Can you please not talk to them? No, buddy. Oh, come on. No, go on, play with the dog. Go and take you and you and dog run down the road. <laughs> Sorry. You and Bo go run down there. Bo needs to run. But he's running. No, go ahead. I told you, my dad's trying to do a video, okay? I love my kids. Let's see, where were we at? That's what I keep inside there. Hey, Jack, stop doing that, buddy. You make a lot of noise. Jackson Keith, stop doing that. You make a lot of noise. Toss that cigarette out. Uh, inside this, the flap here has got a couple mesh pockets, a big one and a smaller one. And the smaller one, I keep socks. Uh, and I keep long socks. I usually wear long socks whether I'm wearing tennis shoes or boots So I just keep a pair of long socks in here you never know after a hot day. It's been sweating you change your socks or uh, Your feet get wet obviously I keep a microfiber towel in here Dollar Tree you can get two for a dollar uh, I keep uh, This is a part of a thermal shirt that uh, it got pretty wore out So I cut it up. And I actually use these for neck warmers. This is the body part and I could actually fold this up, wrap around my neck in the winter, and it makes pretty good neck warmer. Or I could also use this for a rag if I'm dirty and need to clean up. And then I keep in here a mossy oak uh, reversible beanie. Camo on one side, black on the other side. 
again it's summertime so that doesn't get used right now but winter is quickly approaching or i guess actually we're in fall time now throw these back in here real quick you'll notice i have a lot of extra dead space inside this pack and that is because i don't fill the pack up whenever i'm getting ready to go for the day i will if there's something i know i need i'll throw it in here i'll go on for the day Hazard 4 Switchback. I just remember the name of this pack. Hazard 4 Switchback it is a sling bag. And I will put that in the bottom, in the description box. Another thing I like about this bag, it's heavy right now because of the tools, but uh, I don't carry this thing on me for miles and miles. I don't live in the city, so I don't have to commute anywhere. Uh, this back portion here, can be used for a hydration bladder or what I use it for. I've got my Sig Sauer P250 in here that I'm not getting that out because it is loaded. I keep a spare mag in here. I keep a black and red notebook. There's nothing in this right now. I'm not even going to open it up. I keep another notebook. I get two more notebooks and then I've got a graph paper. I'm not going to pull that out either. You can fit a hydration bladder in here. I have put a hydration bladder in here. And it's got a place to thread your uh, tube through to drink out of it. You can thread it right out the top hole here and use the drink. Hush. Hush. There's also a... Jackson. This is over. Can I... Ja go play with the dog. Um, also right here on the other side, it's got a Velcro pocket that you can do the tube through if you want. The zipper pocket here is actually made to where you can break down a, an AR-15. Uh and you can stick it inside of this pack and the barrel will stick out a little bit depending on how long your barrel is. Bat up some of my stuff falls out. Now I used to use this and I still do sometimes use it when I ride my Harley. If I'm going out of town on a trip, I usually unload a lot of the stuff out of this and I will uh to, to make it lighter, because it is rough riding with a single sling pack on your back, riding uh, a long way, but I keep a flashlight here. I have used this more times at nighttime riding my Harley than I care to admit. I, this is a Dollar Tree deal here. It's just a little twist light. I can use it, turn it on, batteries are dead. But I can turn it on and it hangs right here, right about chest high on me, and I can see down whatever I'm trying to look at without having to take my pack off or reach back and get my flashlight out of my pocket that I carry every day. But yeah, that is the uh, kind of the rundown of what I carry in my, my day pack. And uh, this thing grows with me every day. Uh, usually I just leave it in the truck. When I've got my gun in there, I take it in every night. But uh, in the mornings when I leave for work, I go put this in the truck, then I'll grab my uh, my EDC bag that I carry into work and I'll carry it into work and this will just stay in the truck all day. One of those things where uh, something happens, somebody calls me while I'm at work and says, hey, I'm gonna come pick you up from work and we're gonna go out here and uh, look at something. I grab this thing and we go. So uh, this is not everything I usually keep in here. I, I have, I'm missing a few things that I've gotten another pack. Uh, I've actually put in my EDC pack because I didn't carry this for a few weeks. Um, while I was working my summer job <clears throat> and now I'm back at my regular job so that stuff will go back in here and it's not anything much it's you know ponchos and little stuff like that but in a few weeks I might do another update on it for my normal job kind of what I keep in here and what I normally keep in here throughout the year but that's it so thanks for watching please like and subscribe to this video again I'm the Boot Hill Kid and appreciate you watching thanks